Hey guys, alright, continuing off from the last one where we were able to kill the plot player and create a situation where we were subtracting lives, the next step that we need to do is go on and have a, a situation where we can lose this game. Alright, so upon our death, we have it, you know, creating our explode, uh, we have it destroying our player, we have it doing this int add, the float value, and then restarting the level. Alright, so the last thing I want to do is before we restart the level, I'm going to add one more thing in here. Go into time, do a wait, and add that um, so that we have a, about a, you know, say a two second pause right before it restarts the level, just so it's like, oh crap, we died. Wait for the player for one moment, and then we can go on to the next thing. Well, the next thing is going to need to be our game over. Alright, those dreaded, those two dreaded words game over. So what we need to have happen is we need to have that wonderful little switch, that little our little int switch from before. So what I want to do is go over to logic and I want to go to this whole int compare, right? Sends an event based on the comparison of two int integers. So I want to add an int compare and before I restart the level this int compare needs to tell me two things. The first one is how many lives do I have after I've subtracted one and the next one I want to have is something that says either a 1 or a 2. Okay, so for in this case, if we had set it to 0, all right, it's going to give us that 3 plus 1 or the, the 3.1, so 3 plus 1, so it's sort of like if our character has 0 lives, you're on your last live, there's no more deaths you can have, or if it's at 1 and then you die, then, then you're gone. So let's leave it at, at 0, and if it's equal to 0, all right, uh, let's let's have nothing happen. Uh, if it's greater than zero, let's have nothing happen. But if it's less than zero, then we need to go to game over. So let's add a little event, and let's call this event game over. Game over, All right? So if it's less than zero, we want to do game over. So what we'll do is we'll we'll at that zero, we'll be on our last life, and it's going to send us to to, to game over. So add our transition for game over, drop it over to our game over, and then this is going to be our, our final stuff that we need to do. So what do we need to do? Well, going back to our live system, if we look at our game over tag, we have uh, display, we need, meaning we need to show game over, you know, it's done. And then we need to have a situation where we'll reset the states and we'll restart the level. All right, so it's a lot like the regular death all well, in this case, uh, we need to have more more of our states uh, switched on over. All right, so what do we need to have switched? Well, the first thing we need to do is, since I already put in death, we already have this thing doing, setting our player health back to 10. That's taken care of for us. But our lives need to be set back to 10. So if we go to our math and we go to set int value, uh, we want to go back to our player lives, set that value back up to 3, okay? And then what we also need to do is whatever our high score is. For our high score system, we'll need to set that one as well in game over. Uh, and then last but not least, we are going to set our, uh, where are you, level, and then restart level, okay? So that's what we want to have happen here. Oh, one last thing, GUI. Uh, let's just go with a GUI box or label for the moment. I'd probably change this into something maybe a little more uh, graphically impressive uh, instead of just this game over, right? Uh, let's put in the middle of the screen. So about a 0.5 here and then a 0.5 here so that it's right there. And then uh, that's not going to do anything. A you know, way to scale this thing. Two seconds. All right, I'm just gonna for, for the moment uh, we'll change this thing later. But just to make it a little more impressive, let's throw a scale GUI in here. And a scale GUI just basically will allow us to to um, change the scale of our our label. So I'm put this at the top. As you can see, I can scale the GUI. Let's make that about a three by three bigger that way, and about three bigger that way. And let's pull pull it back. There we go. So something kind of like this. That's a pretty good game over screen. All right, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. Yeah, that that's that'll be good. Scale it up, and then our restart level. 
um, you know, this is be where you say, you know, press any key to, to restart or, or, or something along those lines. We can dress it up and make it more impressive later. Uh, but the next thing I want to do is just for the moment set a time and then a, just a, your average, you know, weight down here um, for before it restarts. So we haven't set all these values. And then we want to wait, say, three seconds on this one. Uh, and then restart the level. Um, and what that'll do is any this is this whole idea here of game over is this is just going this is going to be used. We'll come back to this in a little bit, um, but this is going to be used to kind of basically reset all of our global variables and states uh, back to their original thing. So our score will reset back to zero, our lives tick back up. Uh, double check, make sure that the health is going to be set back to uh, 100. Um, you know, every, so everything goes back to, to almost like you're starting the game over again. All right, but at the same time, what needs to be saved from from play to play, uh, make sure that's also being recorded. All right, real quick uh, bug fix and uh, uh, appendix to the uh, the last one. Uh, what I want to make sure of is that the the end level thing was functioning correct. Uh, I did about five more good tests and what I found was that it was not game over uh, sitting at this state very long and the death was not kind of waiting like I wanted it to. So what I've ended up doing was putting a wait at the end with a finish event finished on both of these. So in this case it does the int compare and then it's going to see it's either going to continue to go or it's going to go to the game over um, in both cases I took off the uh, restart level and made it its own special case so whenever game over, over is finished resetting all the values it goes and restarts the level and in this case when whenever death is finished so resetting its variables it's going to go to a restart level so now the total situation seems like it you get hurt you hurt, you die, you explode, okay, yay, woohoo. Uh, number two, all right, and then this will be number three. And then last but not least, we have our final one with our game over, and it stays there for a moment, uh, which we could have that sit at uh, till you press a key or, or, or whatever else. Um, I just wanted to show you all the real quick kind of fix for that. Um, it was definitely not functioning 100% as designed before, um, but adding the uh, the second part here with the restart level um, and a wait with finished on the end of these um, definitely seemed like it fixed fix the problem. Okay, all right.